Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a four box break of 2022 Panini Phoenix football. Pick your team number 10. All cards ship. Next four box break is loaded up. I think we have one, two, two more of those four box breaks we can do. And that knocks out that particular case. All right, thanks everyone for getting in. Brian with that last spot mojo, Carolina Panthers. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time, so they say. All right, so we're looking for two autographs, one memorabilia card per box on average. Has anyone been watching the Combine over the last handful of days? I watched a little bit of the quarterback day. Obviously, I have a vested interest in that position because uh, the Raiders are looking for a quarterback. They might, they might go ahead and draft one. No word on which, on if there's a quarterback that the Raiders are even interested in. <clears throat> All right. Good luck. We got Mac Jones to 199. Tyron Davis Price goes to the Niners. That'll be for Thomas. Mac Jones will go to Karen and her Patriots. Got Kenny Pickett Green to 25. That always throws me off because in a lot of other sets, Green is to 5. Your DK Metcalf to 50. Cracked Ice for Seattle. That's going to go to Jeremy. The Kenny Pickett will go to Howard. Wow, the Celtics tied it up. For a basket and one. There's Stephon Diggs to 150 for Ron and the Bills. And our first autograph is David Bell. Julius Randle. Oh, gets it stolen. With like a half a second left. That's going to go to overtime. All right, David Bell going to Chris. And the, oh, sorry, check that, Nate. And the Cleveland Browns. Out of 10. Cleveland, this is for you. Garrett Wilson to 199. And we got a Damian Pierce. Two color patch. Going to the Texans. That'll be for Howard. Twenty-four out of twenty-five. Rookie rising Garrett Wilson will go to Howard as well in the Jets. And Kyle Pitts, gold to 75. That'll be for uh, for Chris Parent and the ATL. Jalen Wiedemeyer to 125 for Karen. And CD Lamb to 175 for Dallas. That'll be for <clears throat> that'll be for Jason Bell. I wonder if any relation with uh, David Bell? Who knows? And we got Sam Howell, jersey and autograph, rookie jersey and autograph. Ron Rivera claims that he is, he is QB1. That's 299 Patrick and the Commanders. I'll believe it when I see it. I feel like a lot of times 
at this stage of the season, there's a lot of, uh, or this, this part of the football calendar, a lot of smoke and mirrors, a lot of GMs and coaches saying one thing while they're planning another. Be a lot of, a lot of coach speak, GM speak, player agents coming out and saying crazy things. Comments after, after the combine, after all that stuff. Who knows? Who knows what you can believe this time of year? Box two, Knicks Celtics going into overtime. That's an ESPN game, 113 to 113. I think the NFL calendar officially turns in mid-March. I think there should be a flurry of you know, free agent activity. Kind of surprising that that a Derek Hard deal hasn't been wrapped up because I think he is uh, I think since he got his outright release from the Raiders, I believe he was able to sign with any team like right now. See if there's any news here. All right, according to multiple sources, here's another David Bell jersey and autograph. Cleveland, this is for you, Nate with the Browns. Apparently, Derek Carr is leaning. This is reports from today. Multiple reports. I think the original report maybe ESPN. Derek Carr's, this is according to CBS, Derek Carr's NFL future starting to come into focus. The Saints, Panthers, and Jets remain in conversation, but Carr is sli slightly leaning towards signing with New York, according to ESPN. How do Jets fans feel about that? Apparently, the Jets met with Carr a second time last week in Indianapolis during the combine. Here's Devin McCourty for Ke Karen and the uh, Patriots. That's a 250. John Mechie, the third to 75. That'll go to Howard and Houston. Fire Forge, Steve Young to 175 for the Niners. That's for Thomas. And 90 out of 99, Kenny Pig. Oh, that was going to be an autograph for a second. Two color patch. That's for Howard and the Steelers. Sorry, Howard. False alarm. But a nice patch to 99. That's Jake Ferguson for, to, to Dallas, 75 out of 125. That's for Jason Bell. Got Aaron Rodgers, what's he gonna do? That's the 250. That's for Patrick and Green Bay. Fellas Jones Jr., 99 for Chicago. That's for Chris and the Bears. Wow. A Joe Burrow gold vinyl one of one autograph for Chris Ruiz and the Cincinnati Bengals. Joe Burrow gold vinyl one of one. That's awesome. Congrats to Chris. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! This is the kind of thing that can pop out of Phoenix. Randall Cunningham to 25. It's going to be for the Fly Eagles Fly. That's for Thomas.
We got Charlie Kolar to 199 for Anthony and the Ravens. And we got a Contours insert. That's the 35 Aaron Rodgers. Not a bad Joey B popping out of this Phoenix box. So the Jets man, blah, blah, blah. Jets coach Robert Sala offered a glowing review of his meetings with Carr. The Jets are also continuing to wait for Aaron Rodgers' decision regarding his future. Quote, Derek's got an elite makeup with regards to football IQ, Sala said via the team's website. He's got tremendous accuracy and arm strength. He can put the ball anywhere you want. He's underrated in terms of a scrambler, being able to move out of the pocket, all that stuff. He's been asked to do a lot in his career. He's more in line with what Matt Stafford's career has been in terms of if you get him to just a place that can surround him with all the pieces, allow him to just quarterback, it'd be pretty cool. He's a solid young man. That's a, that's a, sounds like a shot at my Raiders. I don't think he's wrong, though. Sala compared Carr to Rams quarterback Matthew Stafford, who won a Super Bowl later in his career after changing teams. Carr's and Stafford careers are similar, according to CBS, the CBS article written by I don't know who. While their career, maybe Jason? No. Uh, Brian De, Ar De, uh, De Ardo. While their career stats are extremely similar, Carr actually has four times as many Pro Bowl selections as Stafford. His only Pro Bowl season was in 2014. I, yeah, the Raiders are a punchline, Jim. Probably well-deserved. Not, we're not as bad as... Are we as bad as the line? Maybe. <laughs> Both quarterbacks also toiled on subpar teams for large chunks of their careers. True. Stafford finally tasted postseason success in his first year in Los Angeles after spending the first 12 years of his career in Detroit. He threw the game-winning touchdown during Rams Super Bowl. Uh, during the Rams Super Bowl win over the Bengals, Carr is surely hoping to have similar success during the back nine of his career. That success could come in New York while playing for a coach that clearly values him. Better than it might be. I mean, those three teams: Raiders, Raiders, Lions, Browns might be. In, uh, in an elite tier level of not being very good. They're elite at that. Now what's what's interesting, and I know a lot of a lot of um, fans will point this out pretty quickly, is look at, I'm sure the Google machine will tell you, Look at Derek Carr's, Mahomes Chiefs, by the way, Sean Robinson. Look at Derek Carr's numbers in cold weather. Speaking of the Raiders, got Zamir White. Nice. Two-color, dual relic and autograph. Some nice silver and black. Who's got my Raiders? Howard has my Raiders. That is 5 out of 50. They might use him some more to... Uh, Give Josh Jacobs a bit of a rest. Or use Josh Jacobs in more passing situations. And we'll see how that works out. Brian Robinson to 250 for Patrick and the Commanders. Got Derrick Henry to 99 for uh, for Ariano, Daniel, and the Titans. Speaking of Matthew Stafford, there he is to 175. That's for the Rams. That's going to go to Jacob. Quay Walker to 150 for the Packers. That goes to Patrick and the Packers. We've got Roquan Smith for the Purple Birds. It's Anthony. That's to 175. And Kayvon Thibodeau. Nice. Nice Kayvon Thibodeau for the Giants. That's going to go to Lewis. 53 out of 99. And there's a silver Malik Willis for... Ariano and the Titans. Derek Carr's record in cold weather. MetLife Stadium, where the Giants and Jets play, is an outdoor stadium. And so Derek Carr's win-loss record in cold weather scenarios have not been very good. You can go to the Google machine and look it up. And I'm sure you'll find the record somewhere. Derek Carr 
predictably claims, hey, I have no problem playing in cold weather. But the record shows otherwise. Perhaps a small sample size, though. There's Kenny Pickett to 199. Rookie rising insert for Howard and the Steelers. That might, that might be the backup. And there's James Cook, 17 out of 75. Nice patch. One, two, three, four color patch. Buffalo! Ron with the Bills. Spartan says, I've given up hope on the Browns, especially after we uh, we have Deshaun Watson as our QB. There's two out of 199. And that's for the Dolphins. That'll be for Kevin. Now, what is everyone's draft needs? I think on the break schedule, Gilo, there's an... Uh, Next to the shipping tab, in between the shipping and Joe's picks tab, I have an NFL mock 2023 tab. Am I going to be a mock drafter? I don't know. But I've started putting, uh, I've set up the draft list, and I've set up uh, position needs. This is according to Joe Jaspi. Because really, <laughs> in reality... No one knows how the draft is really going to go, right? I don't think, I think even the, what, even the best mock drafters have probably, what's their success rate? It's less than 50% of, of nailing the draft. I, I, can, I can assure you that. It's almost like getting a perfect bracket in March Madness. So, I mean, why not me? I don't watch a lot of college football. I can totally guess all this sort of stuff. Although I do watch a lot of football, so I suppose I could guess, I could start guessing uh, positional needs, which is what I've started doing. And I'll use... Um, Oh, she's in a secondary, and they'll be a very complete team. Oh, I put I put offensive line for Kansas City, mostly because in this day and age, I don't think you could ever have enough offensive line help. There's always injuries. You can always use depth. So I have Chicago, their positional needs line, defensive line, offensive line, something like that. I'm sure, but they'll probably trade out of that pick. I haven't accounted for trade. They'll most likely trade out of their pick. But if they keep it, why not get an offensive lineman that'll that'll protect any quarterback that they have for 10 plus seasons, you know? I think there are a couple names out there that could be that guy. I got Houston taking Bryce Young at quarterback. Next quarterback is C.J. Stroud for the Colts. I think Seattle will take a quarterback. I think they're going to take Will Levis. They'll probably re-sign Geno for however many years, a couple more years, two-year contract. I think he deserves it. But then they'll have a, have a young quarterback marinating in the background. It's Justin Herbert to 175 for the Chargers. That'll be for Tristan. And then I got my Raiders taking uh, Anthony Richardson. Did I get that right? The uh, the Florida quarterback? I feel like they'll re-sign like a Jarrett Stidham or maybe a Jimmy Garoppolo for a year and then just have Anthony Richardson, a raw but unique talent. I think accuracy is an issue of his, but he's definitely a playmaker. Uh, Trevor Lawrence is 75 for the Jaguars. Tristan, I don't think that's what they should do. I think the Raiders should pick someone else there, but I have a feeling they're going to take a quarterback there. And maybe Carolina takes a Malik Cunningham, but they might trade up. That's where I see the quarterbacks going. There's Jamar Chase to 199. That's for, uh, oh, the James Cook goes to Buffalo. That'll be for Ron. 
Jamar Chase hot routes will go to Cincinnati. That'll be for Chris. Although from the perspective of the hobby, here's Vellis Jones Jr., nice relic for the Bears, Chris. For the perspective of the hobby, you know, we want as many quarterbacks taken in the first round as possible. So the more the merrier. There's Aiden Hutchinson to 35. No, actually, I'm going to take... I have a version number on there. I'm, going to, I'm deleting that version number that I had because this is not really a complete version yet. This is just kind of thinking out loud. Chris with the Lions. Chris Siller with the Lions. We'll get the Aiden Hutchinson card. There's Nick Bonito to 75 for Denver. That's going to go to Scott. There's Trey Lance to 50 for the Niners. That's for Thomas. And a George Pickens, two-color, dual relic, and autograph for Howard and the Steelers. Nice. Nice RPA. Yeah, what do the Bears do? I think they're going to keep fields. I feel like there were some rumblings that they were going to trade fields, take a quarterback, you know, because it's not like, I think the theory, the thinking there, and here's Justin Fields right over there. I think the thinking was, listen, are we an offensive line or a defense or a, a wide receiver or two away from being competitive? Maybe not. So maybe the idea is you trade Justin Fields, get more picks, get a quarterback and other picks, and go from there. You know, I think that was the initial thought. But then again, they were thinking, well, maybe just trade the number one pick, get out of there. Maybe Carolina or Indianapolis trade up. They get extra picks and they just keep building around Justin Fields, which, I, which is what I think they should do. Ooh, points. That takes the place of a hit, unfortunately, but we'll randomize that to one person in the break. Darren Waller to 150 for the Raiders. That'll be for Howard. The Devin McCourty will be for Karen and the Patriots. But I think more increasingly, more recent reports have seemed to suggest that the Bears are now more interested in trading the pick. I guess unless someone blows them away with a Justin Fields offer. I don't know. This could be a pretty exciting lead up to the NFL draft. All right, now let's see who's going to get those points. Let's gather everyone's names from Kyle down to Patrick and everyone in between. Name on top gets the points. That points, 400, it's a decent amount. You can, probably, you can sell that on eBay unless you're, uh, unless you're trying to save up those points for some special exclusive packs. Four and a one, five times. Uh, name on top after five. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, that's going to be not for Jacob. Sorry, man. We'll get him next time. It's going to be for Thomas. There you go, Thomas. Uh, after five, 400 points going your way. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another four-box break of Phoenix is in that uh, store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. So check it out, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.